Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody, and we are here today to actually work on another craft project. So I have this um, binder here, and this is actually a um, regular binder. This is a one inch heavy duty binder. Got this from Walmart. It holds 275 sheets. Hopefully I won't have near that many. I only have two right now, but um, I'm going to use this to make my recipe binder, and this is the, on the only things that are going to go in here are recipes that I print off of Pinterest that I use. Everything else, like family recipes and things, I have a handwritten recipe um, box, or recipe, like recipe book. Yes, sorry, I can't think of the word. Um, but the ones that I print off of Pinterest that are good and that our family likes, I print, I write my notes on, and then I want to keep them in here. I just wanted a good way to keep them. So I found this cheap binder from Walmart. It was like $3, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make dividers and decorate it today, but this is to hold all of these um, recipes. But since I'm putting my recipes in page protectors, I need to make sure that my dividers are a little bit longer. That way it sticks out from the page protector because this is an eight and a half by 11 a sheet of paper and as you can see it doesn't stick out so even if I put a tab on this you wouldn't be able to see it if you're flipping through the notebook so I'm going to set this aside for a second I've taken out the cover and the like spine label because I'm going to go ahead and decorate those as well so I've got a couple of tools here and we'll just kind of work through this pretty easily first let's go ahead and decorate the front cover I'm just going to use eight and a half um, piece of cardstock and then I went ahead and pulled out some scraps from my scrap box I don't have a ton of like really large scraps but I do have some so I pulled out this one piece it's not quite eight and a half by eleven though so that's why I'm having to mat it on a piece of white cardstock which totally works okay thought it was cut straight but apparently it's not cut straight so let's see I can make this fairly straight. There we go. And I'll just cut off the excess. And this is one reason why having that um, scrap bin open is super helpful because I can use it for projects like this. I just kind of like rifled through it and found a couple sheets of paper. I've got this one and I'm also going to use a few pieces out of there to make my tabs. Then I went through my paper storage, and I know a lot of you were like real curious why I didn't get rid of the papers that I said I knew I would never use um, for scrapbooking. Well, it's because of projects like this to where I can use them for my divider pages um, and have them without having to use um, some of my super pretty scrapbooking paper, which there'd be nothing wrong with using those. I just, I like to utilize what I have and I don't want to get rid of anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am super congested. Oops. Things are falling. Oh my gosh, things are falling. Okay, so we're actually going to use some thickers. Alright, so we're going to use these. These are called Sunny from American Crafts. They're a white foam glitter thicker. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I have all the letters I need in this one. And these are pretty forgiving foam thickers are. So I can move these as I need to. Recipes, there we go. Super simple. And it does not look centered. Holy moly. There you go, that's better. Okay. All right, I've got those on there. This is like one of those random DIY projects that I've been meaning to do for a while. Oh, come on. But just haven't gotten around to. That's what this is. Alright, so there's that. I kind of want to add a heart or something. Let's look. Let's add a star. I just trim this down a little bit. All right. There we go.
There we go. Goes right on the front. Recipes. Super easy and simple. Okay, so let's work on our spine. Okay, I again went to my scrap bin and just found a piece of paper that worked. I'm just going to trace the little piece the insert that was already in there. And just copy it. Go. I'm going to put recipes on here as well. I'm actually going to use this font. This is an October afternoon mini market. Oh, mini market? Daily Flash? Maybe they're called Daily Flash. Y'all, it is so cold outside. Like, low 30s, and that's like, see, it's like super cold. All right, recipes. Very good. Let's put that in here, make sure it fits. That's the front, and that's the spine. Very good. Okay, now let's work on the inside. All right, so I need the inside pages to be 9 and 3 eighths by 11 inches. So let's get all of these cut. And I'm using these pretty papers. These are all those, like, super thin papers that... Um, I had that I said I wasn't sure how I was going to use because I wasn't really going to put them on a scrapbook page. Well, these are projects that I'm going to use those on, but they are super thin. And since I am using these as dividers, I pulled out just some basic cardstock. This is just some extra cardstock I had sitting around. And I'm going to put this as the base of each divider and then glue those other sheets on either side of it. All right, so we are going to make these. What a whale. That did not work. Okay, okay. 11 by 9 and 3 eighths. 9 3 eighths. Does that work? Just check. Yes, that works perfectly. Good job. Okay, All right, I'm going to get these cut as well as the papers. Okay, what I'm doing with the colors, um, the papers that are patterned, are that I'm trimming them just slightly larger than these base pages, so when I adhere it, I can make sure that I get it straight, and then I can just trim off the excess. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these cut and ready to adhere. All right. I've got all my papers ready to go. Got all the base pages ready to go, so let's just set these up here. I created an assembly line. I've also got my labels. Okay, I've got those ready. Now we're going to make our tabs. So what we're using to make our tabs is this Ellie Studio tab tab die, <laughs> and I went through my um, paper scraps again and found a couple of different pieces of cardstock. They're all the same color. And I'm just going to use those to make some tabs, and that's going to be where we put our labels. You can see how much I've used this. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on here. We need seven. Seven. I 
Okay. Now we've got everything ready. We've got our labels, our tabs, our papers, and our bases. And I do have my whole punch over here as well. So we're gonna start assembling. Very first thing I want to do though is mark out where on here I want the tabs to stick out. So let's see, these are roughly two inches. Yes. So let's see. So I'm gonna do them one inch down, one inch up, and then centered. And then I want them to be, let's see. And then I'm trying to measure, I would like them to be about uh, three eighths of the way in. So three weight, three eighths of the way in. And then I'm gonna use some red line sticky tape to do this. I'm gonna get the rest of those tabs on. Okay, and then I'll tell you as I'm doing this, you always want to put the sticky tape when you're doing a project like this on the paper that you're putting your tab on because you just don't know how much of that sticky tape is gonna cover. And so like if I had put it on the tab, I would have had sticky tape sticking out the opposite side. Since I'm covering up the front of this anyways, the exposed sticky tape is just gonna get covered. Okay, so I've got all those in. I did have one extra tab because I did eight instead of seven. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these papers adhered. And since I need to make sure that these tabs are covered properly, I'm gonna line the papers up to that edge and then trim off on the other sides. All right, so let me just kind of sort through what order I want these papers in. And then we will get adhering these papers. Just wanna make sure the patterns aren't like beside each other. And then I have three of these, this pattern. So I think I want it like that. Yes. All right, so that, ooh, no. Let's move. Oops. There we go. There we go. And the reason I have two teals is because I couldn't find the other green. I couldn't find two sheets of green in that um, gingham print. So, all right, so let's get adhering these. So as you can see, I lined it up to that edge, and then I have a little bit off of each other's, all the other sides. So I'm going to trim those down. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. All right, and then you punch your holes. Perfect. All right, now we just need to add our label, and I do have the labels. So let's put them in order. Now I know that you can make these these like divider pages using your silhouette, and that would be so much easier. But I don't have a silhouette, and I was also going to buy the tabs on Amazon, like the self adhesive ones, which would also be super amazing. But again, I tried to find the, the like self-adhesive tabs um, locally 
but I couldn't find them and the only way I could get them was on Amazon but it need it wasn't it was like too cheap to be prime so you had to do it as an add-on and um, each time that I was ordering stuff I was forgetting or I was having it shipped other places so I couldn't keep adding it on so at a certain point I was just like forget it we're just going to make our own tabs I have all of the supplies why not just make my own all right, I trimmed those down a little bit. I thought I had a thinner um, label tape, but I didn't. So I'm just trimming those down a little bit. So that is how they look. Aren't they beautiful? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ones made and the labels trimmed down. And then I will come back in a moment and share with you everything that I have finished. And I do wanna apologize that I did not have a video up for you yesterday. I just, as you could tell, I'm not feeling the best. I'm a little sick. And then um, so is Kaylin, and all he wanted to do was watch movies. And it was a rainy Sunday, so that's what we did. <laughs> we sat in and watched movies. So I hope you guys are still enjoying it, even though I wasn't able to make it yesterday. Um, but my plans are not to miss any more days because I really want to do this scrapbooking or sharing something every single day on my channel with you guys so make sure you check back tomorrow for a new video because I will have something and this glue runner is driving me crazy <laughs> all right let me fix this and then I'll get these pages done